In a world often dominated by chaos and noise, the ancient Stoics offer a powerful secret that can transform our lives. This secret isn't found in the clamor of the crowd or the chase for fleeting pleasures. Instead, it lies in mastering your own mind, a path to tranquility and strength taught by Stoicism with elegant simplicity. Today, we'll dive deep into this profound philosophy, uncovering how the Stoic way of life can bring you peace, clarity, and resilience, even amid life's storms. Join me as we explore how to harness these timeless truths to navigate our modern world, guided by Stoic wisdom. Whether you're battling daily stresses or seeking deeper fulfillment, understanding how to control your mind the Stoic way isn't just about coping with life, it's about thriving in it. If you appreciate our discussion, please hit the subscribe button and stay with us on this journey. One of the most liberating teachings of Stoicism is the idea that the only thing truly within our control is ourselves, our reactions, emotions, and thoughts. This principle encourages us to detach from the weight of others' opinions. Today, we'll delve into why letting go of what others think isn't just freeing. It's a strategic move toward mastering your own mind. Think about how often you've changed a decision, hesitated on a new venture, or altered your appearance based on what you thought others might say or think. It's a common trap that leads to a life driven by external validation rather than internal conviction. Stoicism teaches us to shift this focus by anchoring our actions and thoughts in our own values. By doing so, we strengthen our mental fortitude against external judgments. Consider Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher who famously said, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. His words urge us to focus on our mental responses rather than trying to control the uncontrollable. This doesn't mean becoming indifferent to others, but prioritizing our own judgment and peace of mind above external approval. This philosophy doesn't ask us to disregard feedback completely. Instead, it empowers us to choose which feedback is constructive and aligned with our deeper goals and which are merely distractions. It's about cultivating a garden within where your thoughts are nurtured by your values and convictions, not trampled by others' judgments. Imagine the freedom of making choices without fearing criticism or seeking approval. You begin to live more authentically, guided by what truly matters to you. As you practice this stoic approach, you'll find that your dependence on external validation wanes, while your confidence and inner peace swell. This isn't just about toughening up in the traditional sense. It's about cultivating an inner landscape where your emotions serve you rather than control you. The Stoics didn't teach the suppression of emotion, but rather the understanding and managing of emotions to enhance well-being and personal growth. Consider the Stoic practice of viewing obstacles as opportunities, a method championed by philosopher Seneca. He argued that every challenge or hardship is a chance to practice virtues like patience, courage, and temperance. By reframing our struggles as opportunities to develop strength, we transform our emotional response to them. Instead of feeling overwhelmed by adversity, we can approach it with a sense of purpose and use it as a stepping stone toward greater resilience. Another key aspect of cultivating emotional resilience is maintaining a perspective that aligns with reality. Epictetus taught that our distress comes not from events themselves, but from our judgments about them. By adjusting our judgments and expectations to be more in line with reality, we reduce unnecessary suffering. For instance, accepting that we can't control the actions of others, but can control our reactions, makes us less likely to be upset by someone else's behavior. Emotional resilience also involves understanding that emotions themselves are not commands. Just because we feel angry, hurt, or anxious doesn't mean we are compelled to act on those feelings. This distance between feeling and action is critical. It gives us the time to choose our response. The Stoics called this the space in which we can exercise our reason and freedom. To enhance your emotional resilience, start by incorporating daily reflections. End each day by asking yourself what went well, what challenges you faced, and how you responded. This practice of self-reflection reinforces your ability to apply stoic principles in everyday life, gradually building your resilience. Apply these principles not just in moments of crisis, but as part of your daily routine. Emotional resilience isn't built overnight. 
but with consistent practice and a stoic mindset, you'll find yourself more prepared to handle whatever life throws your way, not just surviving your experiences, but thriving through them. At the heart of Stoic philosophy is the profound recognition that while we can't control what happens to us, we can control how we perceive and react to these events. This is the true power of perception, realizing that our reactions are molded not by the events themselves, but by the interpretations we attach to them. Imagine you're stuck in traffic and running late for an important meeting. You can perceive this situation as a disaster, leading to anger and frustration, or as an opportunity to listen to a favorite podcast or audiobook, reclaiming the time and transforming a frustrating experience into an enjoyable one. The stoic practice of perception management is about choosing the latter approach, actively deciding to view circumstances in a way that aligns with inner peace and wisdom. Epictetus, a stoic philosopher, famously said, Men are disturbed not by things, but by the view which they take of them. This encapsulates the essence of Stoic thought on perception. It's a reminder that our peace of mind comes not from the events in our lives, but from our responses to them. Cultivating this skill begins with mindfulness and self-awareness. It involves observing our automatic thoughts and questioning their accuracy. Does this thought reflect reality? Is there another way to view this situation? This practice of questioning and reframing is a form of cognitive restructuring that can dramatically alter our emotional landscape. To integrate this into your daily life, start by identifying situations where your initial reaction might not be the most constructive. Experiment with reframing your thoughts to see the situation in a new light. This could be as simple as interpreting a critique at work, not as an attack on your abilities, but as valuable feedback that can spur personal and professional growth. The power of perception is not about deceiving ourselves or ignoring reality. It's about adjusting our lens so that we can see life more clearly and respond to it in ways that are aligned with our deepest values. By practicing this stoic technique, you not only enhance your own resilience, but also your capacity for happiness and fulfillment. It's a transformative process, turning everyday challenges into opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Living according to nature is another key Stoic principle. This doesn't merely mean taking more hikes or planting a garden, though those are fantastic ways to connect with nature. It's deeper. It's about recognizing and adhering to the natural laws of human behavior and the universe. The Stoics believe that every part of the cosmos, including humans, has a role to play, a purpose dictated by nature itself. For us, this means living a life of virtue in accordance with reason, which the Stoics considered the highest function of our nature. Marcus Aurelius often wrote about nature's interconnectedness in his personal writings. He saw each individual's actions as part of a larger symphony of the universe, where going against this natural order causes discord and unhappiness. In practical terms, living according to nature involves several key behaviors. First, it encourages the practice of self-reflection to understand our place within the larger context of the world. This reflection leads to a profound understanding of what is within our control and what is not, helping us to live more harmoniously with the inevitable. For example, accepting that we cannot control other people's actions or the outcome of many situations, but we can control our reactions to them. Moreover, this Stoic principle teaches us to embrace simplicity and to find satisfaction in it. This could mean reducing our desires to align more closely with what is naturally necessary and sufficient for happiness. It asks us to question, are our pursuits and desires in line with our true nature? Or are they artificially constructed by societal pressures? To cultivate a life according to nature, start small. Reflect each day on where you might be resisting natural flows in your life or where you might be forcing outcomes. Try to align more closely with the rhythm of your environment. Wake with the sun, eat seasonally, and listen more deeply to your body's needs and the needs of others around you. This approach isn't about relinquishing ambition or desire, but about harmonizing those drives with the natural order, ensuring they arise from true necessity and virtue rather than fleeting whims. Remember, to live according to nature is to embrace a life of harmony, simplicity, and virtue. 
It's about making peace with the world as it is, not as we wish it to be, and finding our unique and rightful place within it. As you move through your day, consider this stoic wisdom and observe how it might transform your understanding of happiness and your place in the world. Self-discipline is another cornerstone of stoic philosophy. It's far more than just a method to control our urges or stick to a routine. It is about aligning our daily actions with our deeper values and virtues. The Stoics believe that self-discipline isn't merely about personal gain, but about cultivating a life that is in harmony with reason and moral purpose. Seneca often discussed how self-discipline or self-control is essential to living a good life. He suggested that without it, we are slaves to our passions rather than rulers of our own minds. Imagine the power and freedom that come from being in complete control of your actions and decisions, no matter what temptations or immediate gratifications present themselves. This is the heart of Stoic self-discipline. In practice, self-discipline means making choices that reflect your values, even when they aren't the easiest or most immediately gratifying options available. For example, choosing to save money instead of spending it impulsively aligns with a value of financial security and independence. Similarly, deciding to wake up early to meditate or exercise before a busy day reflects a commitment to personal health and mental clarity. Building self-discipline involves setting clear, achievable goals and consistently working toward them, regardless of external circumstances. It also means developing routines that reinforce your values and priorities. For instance, you might create a morning routine that includes time for reflection and planning, setting a positive and focused tone for the day ahead. Equally important is the practice of self-reflection and correction. When you stray from your path or give in to temptation, the Stoic approach is not to wallow in guilt, but to learn from the experience and recommit to your principles. A practical tip for cultivating self-discipline is to start small. Identify one area where you want to improve your self-control, such as limiting time on social media or committing to a daily exercise routine. Set clear, realistic goals and track your progress. Over time, as you experience the benefits of these disciplined practices, you'll find it easier to apply the same principles to other areas of your life. Another powerful technique is premeditatio malorum, or premeditation of evils. By mentally preparing for potential challenges and obstacles, you strengthen your resilience and readiness to maintain self-discipline even when difficulties arise. Visualize potential setbacks and rehearse your responses, ensuring you remain committed to your values regardless of what happens. Through consistent practice and reflection, self-discipline becomes not just a habit, but a fundamental part of who you are. It transforms your daily actions into expressions of your deepest values, leading to a more purposeful and fulfilling life. In conclusion, Stoicism offers a treasure trove of wisdom for modern life. By embracing its principles, you can gain mastery over your mind, cultivate emotional resilience, harness the power of perception, live in accordance with nature, and develop unshakable self-discipline. These timeless teachings don't just offer coping mechanisms, but provide a framework for thriving in an often chaotic world. As we wrap up today's exploration of Stoic wisdom, I hope you feel inspired to incorporate these practices into your own life. Remember, the journey to mastering your mind is ongoing, but each step brings you closer to a state of tranquility, strength, and fulfillment. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you found this discussion valuable, please subscribe to our channel for more insights and practical tips on living a life of virtue and wisdom. Let's continue to explore the rich philosophy of Stoicism together, applying its timeless teachings to navigate the complexities of our modern lives. Until next time, stay mindful, stay resilient, and keep striving for your highest self.